Hi, we're going to be walking through this renovation. It is a full renovation, so it is priced at 100,000 euros. You know, for 250,000 euros, you could probably have a very pretty house. You know, I always get vibes on houses when I look at them. And for me, this house is sort of for a woman that wants to have a house in Italy and entertain her friends. You know, someone that likes to garden a little bit. There's a beautiful little garden. It's very manageable, sort of a lock and leave, which is nice as well. You're in the center of a borgo, which is safe. So it's a lovely vacation home. So let's go take si. a look. Un borgo si? fantastico. Right? Yeah. Si. Esatto. <laughs> and stunning view of the mountains. Right now it's a little hazy, but the view of the mountains when you are bringing your groceries home is fantastic. Oh, this is okay. so cute. Oh, this is so, so cute. So this is great with the pergola. I love this. I would save this because this is a full grown vine. It's a grape vine. And then I would just build a new pergola here. I would redo all of this. I would probably pull this out of here and make this a beautiful terrace. There's enough sun that you could definitely do a small little garden, a little veggie garden here for yourself. Oh, it's so quaint. Tranquilo. Relax. It's very quiet. Yes, it's very relaxed. You sit out here with your tea, glass of wine for aperitivo in the evening, uh, a little music. It's really <laughs> charming. It's very charming. It's like 10 minutes from Vivizano. It's very close by. You can go do your grocery shopping quite easily. There's a hardware store. There's everything in Vivizano, which is nice. You feel like you're out in the middle of nowhere, but you're not out in the middle of nowhere, which is the perfect thing. Faccio strada. Okay, let's go in. Oh, this is so, this is very cute. Since this is a complete renovation, understand that a lot of these things can be pulled out. Some of the things I'm gonna point out are the things that I think are really pretty um, and that can be left here. So I think that we're gonna work that way rather than saying I'm gonna rip this out, I'm actually gonna say I'm gonna keep this. I would definitely keep the front door. It can be very easily refurbished. It doesn't need to be refitted. It's also very secure, which is a nice thing. The floor here is fantastic. So you don't have to put a new floor in. They have radiators, which is nice. I would keep those for sure. Okay, let's keep going. Allora, andiamo in sala prima. Okay, so first we're gonna go into the dining room and there is a boar, which is always a good sign. Yeah, this is really cute. The main thing here is all the floors are the same and they're all this fantastic hexagon cement painted floors. Beautiful, questa pietra, wow. It's not in bad shape, so it's not, you know, I mean, it's, I'm not afraid, so that's good. Um, there are some doors, I probably would take some doors out, but I would keep them because you can use them other places. This is cool. I like the boar, he's so cute, maybe we could keep him. There's four rooms, but I think that there's no ensuite bathroom. So I think I would reconfigure it a little bit so that you'd have an ensuite bathroom in each bedroom. Bedroom here, humidita. Rimasta, la casa è chiusa da tantissimo Yeah, this is tempo. not leaking. This is because the house has been closed for a long time. So this is easy to fix. This is nothing. This is just someone living here, opening the windows. This does not alarm me that this is coming from anywhere. You're gonna need a new roof 100% and that, if there are any leaks, that will take care of that problem. This is a weird floor. This floor ends here and then this is a linoleum floor. You can see here that this is, you know, this can be pulled up very easily and there's nothing underneath it. So you can buy this stone uh, or this uh, cement flooring everywhere. So you could probably find the antique, you know, to match it and then just put it in here. And that's pretty easy. I mean, they will probably have to go down a bit, but you know, in Italy, the artisans here are so great that they look at this and this is not daunting to them. They're like, fine. And it's a small room, so it would not be costly. There is some humidity here. So I think some of this is coming from probably the roof and the windows, which you'd repoint anyway. So, you know, again, I'm not concerned about it. All right, so this is the bathroom. That's a gut job. And then this is the kitchen. And now we do have some leaking from the roof on the ceiling here. Depending on what's out there, that might be a door that goes out to a, a terrace or a, a little patio area. I think that could be very easily done. Qui c'è un piccolo giardino, piccolo, eh, però da pulire. 
c'è un piccolo spazio di Oh, gioco. okay, so yeah, you could do a door. It's really strisce. overgrown, so it's hard to tell where the bottom is. But I think if you did a door and you did you cleared that and put a patio there, that would be terrific. Do you think that was originally a fireplace? This was a fireplace originally, for sure. Yeah. I'd probably rip the whole thing out and just get rid of it. I would make this the bathroom and then do maybe one bedroom here. Depending, upstairs there might be enough bathrooms that you don't have to do that. And then you can just make a, a you know, like open this whole thing up and do a kitchen sitting room. I would maybe do an eat-in kitchen and then do, you know, some sort of living room library area on this side. I'm just, this, you know, I'm spitballing here. Leave the staircase. Staircase is fantastic, wow. More of those, yeah, this is, oh, this is great. This, this is fantastic. Federico was saying that the ceiling here is very pretty, the roof line. So you could actually take the ceiling out and then it's really beautiful. It's all, you know, wood beamed and very pretty and gives you some more height and more dra drama. Uh, in the staircase, staircase is cool. It has a window there. So you'll have light in here, which is quite nice. And, you know, there's a lot of light here, so the bathroom is quite beautiful. And this is a very cool staircase. So definitely worth renovating the staircase because it's original and it's very good. The artisans here are so good that they can redo this entire thing. It's very beautiful wrought iron. They can redo the whole thing as is. So you're, you're you know, it's nice to recycle, reuse all of these things. And, you know, that's so cute. You would leave the shutters, leave it open, paint it a pretty color. Kibi, this is really cute. And, and really the door frames are not super low. So this has got a lot of really good things about it. Tons of potential, tons sì. of potential. Più, più la guardo e più ha potenziale. Yeah, è no, vero. really, really good house. Really cool house. Oh my God, this is great. The other thing you can do is take all the tiles from up here use them downstairs and do a different floor upstairs, do a wood planking floor, do a wood porcelain floor. They do beautiful wood planking out of ceramics here. Do that affordable, beautiful. Yeah, this is fantastic. Beautiful big windows. This is a winner for me. Yeah, and then here's the bathroom. I mean, what you can do is maybe make a big bathroom closet area. This is like the master bedroom area here. And then you have another bedroom there with, with a bathroom. The bathroom. Yeah, perfect. See, now he's getting like, Federico's got the floor plan <laughs> down now. I love it. <laughs> so maybe this is the master bedroom. We do closet bathroom over here. And then you have this glorious terrace. Look how cool this is. So personally, I really love the stenciling here. I think, you know, we could have someone come out and re-stencil and then paint the house like a really, you know, pale color of some sort, maybe a beige with really pretty shutters that are sort of Frenchy pistachio color. That would be fantastic. And then you have like a jewel of a house. I love this house. It's a great value. I mean, if you're into re doing a renovation, and I think a renovation like this would take about a year. I would probably, you know, rent something in the in Bibizzano and then drive up here and oversee the renovation. Per affittare anche per investimento è ottimo. Yeah. I mean, you could buy this, live here, buy this vacation here, buy this vacation and rent it here as well. So, um, yeah. I love this house. This is fantastic. The railing's not bad. This, you know, you could retile this. I mean, it's very small square footage. I like a lot of salvage tiles. There's lots of places to go for salvage tiles. So I would just buy salvage tiles and make it sort of very quaint and sweet and old fashioned. And um, yeah, it's a really cool, cool property. So I think downstairs what I would do is sort of open it up put in a nice half bathroom, a really nice, you know, living room, dining room area. You certainly could do that. And you could make a much bigger kitchen. So kitchen, living area downstairs, bedrooms upstairs. Tante done. possibilità. And I exactly. think just, I think this is the type of place that I would just do two bedrooms. You're not going to fit a ton of people into this house. It's not very big. So I think that, you know, you come, you have your kids stay with you or you have, this is, 
Uh, like I said, I just picture this very chic older woman buying this and renovating it and just having this lovely, serene place, maybe a writer. Right here it's quiet, the birds, the view. It's a very romantic, very romantic house, so I would... It's true. Yeah, yeah se right? Se yes. Un profumo... Yo, yo sento tutto. I, I feel everything. But it has good vibes in it, good, good vibe house. Nice neighbors, beautiful homes around. You're looking onto a church. So yeah, I give this uh, four thumbs up. All right, we have to use his this, thumbs too. Yes. This is great. Um, and I don't think it's going to last very long. I think this is going to sell quickly. I do. So thanks so much, Federico. Another success. Bene. This is great. Well done, you. <laughs> He's the te. best. He's the best. <laughs> so if you've made it this far, um, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time. So welcome to Italy. Peace.